Carry on TP, C4 T getting chased out right now by Pablo. The Fissure, the Sprout to block him as well. Easy pick up for Jonas. Pablo always seems to have a very good read on where he wants, where he needs to be in the game. Bottom, Jonas. He can buy the phase boots if he wants to. Oh, he actually gets the juke on the stun. He tries to TP out the Fissure as well. Saves his life. And now Pablo might be able to get no it clean way. up here. The tree in. And now he's got a TP coming down for the Nyx Assassin as well. He's got phase boots finished up. Do they have enough right clicks? The PMS though coming into play. Do they have another Fisher? Pablo is low on mana. He has it now. Blocks him up and the Trians come in. They've got another. Yeah, Limp farming those Ancients. So nice that TA traps work on Ancients now. It helped them so much to kill them even better. Top lane. Tabo's looking to put some pressure on it. Bottom though. This is Jonas in trouble. Nice. Does not get the deny. Pablo as well. Look, they're trying to chase. Adriano with the blink in. Getting stunned up. TP gets cancelled. And they do get a double. And an astral. And that's all the lockdown in the world that they've got. And they group up as four looking for this tier one. They get the astral in onto one. Era. Loses half of his HP. But Tabo in deep. That's the GA. Oh, back themselves away, but that Tabo's trap slows in. them down, and the Guardian Angel's going to wear off. And purification keeps them alive a little bit longer. Limp has to turn tail and run a little bit further, because SG are very strong now up on the high ground of Fisher. Oh, it catches Tarvo, but they oh. don't have the catch. They tried to sideblade him and get him with the quills. Jonas on the high ground now, looking to try to get that kill. Unable to, though. Alliance, though. Everybody's in mid. Nice swap into Echo! Oh, the synergy there was great. The self will buy a little bit of space for the Sonic Wave across the four of them. The stun now in catches the OD and kills him up. A great impale across the two of them and Limp gets back up onto his high ground. Era wants to turn a fight though. And Alliance, they're running away with this one. It looks like the lost two supports, but the big cores are still alive. King Oti invis and repelled. Backs away behind his tier one. And Jonas, he turned up to fight. Queen of Pain and OD both falling in King RD. He might die as well. C40's dead to the limp TA in the back end. That they are, they are hungry. Trouble. He full step up into high ground. Pablo blinks. Guesses incorrectly, but still, SG could be in a spot above the King RD goes in biz. HFN turns to Astral and TA, but sprouted up now. As the Nyx Assassin is caught by a couple of stuns, the Sonic Wave across the lines. It looks good, but it doesn't do too much in the grand scheme of things. It's King RD being blown up, and so is HFN. They've lost two big heroes yet again. High ground or bust as maybe King RD spotted out, dusted up. Nice carapace. Uh, in the end, it doesn't really matter as Limp links forward and finds yet another, adding to his streak and becoming an absolute monster. In the end, it doesn't even matter, huh? I heard that. Oh, that slipped out. I heard that. <laughs> I heard that one. DDTA Sometimes going up on that high ground. Yeah. Oh, the swap onto C4T. They the get the repel, repel but, but oh, dead three hits. GA comes in too late. This DD Temple Assassin absolutely eviscerating SG. Tier 3 dropping very quickly. It's not even little by little. He's taking chunks of HP and Adriano almost two shot. They can't stop this push. This was the concern that we had too. Even if there wasn't like this much of an advantage, this five man potential from Alliance's lineup is super damn strong. Like they forward one, it. two, dead. BKB from Limp as well. In Echo. Echo from Pablo. Catches the three and OD. Demolished. A long ago there, Rax and Alliance in game number one look like they are cruising to victory. 4 to 21, 4 to 22, and they call GG. Alliance with a very well coordinated game. Avenger and Earthshaker to make more smoke plays, but Bloodseeker for SG. Ooh, Bloodseeker! Now, speaking of counters. Really an opening as such. He could go for the last soap, which he'll be able to get now over on Tavo. Hanskin holds the magic missile. Fish is already being committed, but Tavo losing a lot of life. Sticky Day Pumps are back, backing up at Limp. He throws the orb up high, forcing Tavo to go down low through the trees. They've missed him. He's still running down, munching on a tango with the boots. He's got the high, high movement speed. Manta Ray, ahoy! Keep on running. They're stuck in the trees. The orb will fly. He's forced down south again. They're hurting the fish swarm. Wave. Like we said, with the side plates coming off the knives and... There's your leash yes. again. Magic missile stun. This time he's too far away from the tree, so Batrider won't survive. 
And his friends were also too far out. You're locking the Vengeful Spirit. Pablo, they're not sure if he can actually make enough space. He's moving in, but he's short of the mana for the Fisher. But that's why they just go for the trade-off, right? Like, they're trying to, like, influence the bottom lane more. This is becoming really problematic just because of the influence you've had from Tarvo. He's done so much work on this bottom lane. Now Era turns around, there's a lot of heroes, and she pounces forward, gets the leash, but it's over on C4T. We'll put the wall down, but here comes your help. The wave of terror, the armor is gone. Magic Missile Control is there. Sprout. And units of bump. Oh, he got him! He actually caught out King RD back next to the tower. Oh. And Era moves forward, doesn't get the kill with the dark back. They'll go to Unison Farm with the leash forward. They go to C4T. The Gloons will pull him back over again. But Pablo, the damage is not enough. He can't get through the other side of the wall. Now they have to hunt into the tree lines. Major's Prophet will come to help out. Unison Farm cuts down the trees. Green Beast on his friend. He knows there's no reason to sprout at the moment because it's just going to reveal him. But now Magic Missile Tarpo in issues. The yeah, Firefly wears off and Era. Finally guess what he wants, 215 gold, as well as the kill on the Batrider. 304 now on this slot. Gets another kill into the spree. Oh, this is good. This is really good. If they can hold him here, units of farm is just everywhere. Back in towards the mid, looking for the Templar Assassin. Does somebody bring Reveal? She's running out. The Cogs trapping her in. They try and break her free, but units of farm able to reach just far enough with the attack to get the kill. Deso on HFN along with the Blink Dagger. Orb's going to scout it. They understand that Roshan is pretty low when the Mel Strike connects. Now it's up to Limp. How deep do you want to go in on this one? He jumps in. The Dream calls out. Limp's inside the pit. Has a phase shift. The Storm is down, however. Silencing up Limp. He cannot get back out again. Aegis Immortal and the kill both go the way of SG. And into the hands of the Templar Assassin. Only a 4k net worth lead overall for them, but Jonas might oh. increase this as he sprouts himself. Oh, he was TPing in. He just wanted a little bit of farm, but... Into the waiting hands of the Templar Assassin. Lasso is down. That may be a little bit of overcommitment, but the storm is perfect. Catching both Limp as well as Era. Era can hide inside of his Shadow Blade. Templar Assassin knows what she wants. She's coming with the rest of the team. They're going to go mid. And the swap. Well, they pull her in. They have to kill her off. But it's the Aegis Immortal. Hook shot from King RD. He can actually fight them. But they're underneath the shrine. Not the greatest position here for SG. It's good for Alliance. If they can only get themselves over the bloody wall. Hero does so by pouncing himself in. Rock. Oh, Lasso is up. They found a target. It's going to be the Slark. Era wants to break free. Flame Break bouncing around. He can't really continue this fight. Not while the rupture is on him. So Era, they force stop him to get the kill. That's one way to make sure he does it. Templar Assassin now attacking into the bottom lane. The tier 3 tower is being ripped apart. It is going to be the Puck. Plus, they just profits. They get the Silence and Sprout. The Templar Assassin's got the distance. Pablo, the leap forward. The leash doesn't latch there from Era. And the Cogs, King RD, perfectly splits it up. And this is when you really see the damage from the Templar Assassin kick in. Almost killing Hanskin with a side blade attack through Unison Farm. Very much shaken and splintered. The Glimpse. Who are you really pulling back here? The storm is up. You don't control Era anywhere near enough. The dream call is out, but it won't matter. SG are happy to send exactly where they are, where they are. Beat down the bottom towers. And this looks like SG a one racks away from Megas. Look and potentially just ending this game. Look at all TA damage. Look at it. Blood rage TA destroying absolutely everything. I this game's it, over. I think it's, it's, it's worth to mention now, HFN, before he joined his team, was a mid player. TA was his signature hero. He moved to SG and started playing heroes like Life, you know, like Juggernaut, and filled that one role. But coming now into this best of five, game two, it was almost over. The Storm Spirit has turned it back out. They didn't have a creep wave with him. C4T already did the pull. Charge in mid, onto yeah. limp. Underneath going the tower. Deep. There should still be King Laser. Is dead. Where's that mischance? Laser still on cooldown for the moment. The rock is just flying. You're right. King Hardy will die. Pablo is really trying to toss up what he does with the help of the faceless void. Maybe they do find this kill. Jump forward. Oh, it's a black hole from Tarvo. Charges coming in with the army of conversions. They got the damage. The first kill of Pablo. The Chronosphere will catch three, but there's no follow up right now. Can't get enough hits. The control is there from C14 and Era in way too deep. Needs to be able to get out of this one, but where is your time walk? He'll go inside the base, start to CP. The charge will connect. And error will fall. It was them trying to be aggressive. 
It's a three versus three oh, up here. Ancient Apparition, Hanskin's gonna see the charging forward hero. King RD, less off the dust, they get the vision, the Cogs split up the fight a little bit more. Where's that Ice Blast? Hanskin holding on to it for the moment. Gonna be careful around the Rubik. It is a one for one trade up now. The Ice Blast connects nicely. The Cogs, the jump in, Chronosphere from here, but the ball lightning! 40 yard just got out of there in the nick of time. Tambo will not be so lucky, however, with Limp arriving to the fight. Viper will join in the fight as well. Build not wanting to go. I don't know if he's going to go back just yet. He hasn't indicated what item build. Yeah. You know, some farm. The charge is coming in. Tambo goes for the first time. There goes your black hole. And Pablo actually got caught in the dust. Ice Blast will fly up. But this is once again another gank. Well, actually find the kill with the final rocket. Bottom lane. They used a charge and a nether strike to try to bring down Era. But he was able to just jump away. Eric can potentially turn this one too. Couple of creeps there. It's the Viper who feels a little bit more exposed. So jump in, start with the Chronosphere. Ice Blast will connect as well. And Viper, most definitely dead. Limp, second kill in the space of 30 seconds. And this Blink is a danger hole. zone. Are they actually going to go for it with the Black Hole? No, you have the extra help. Limp was still nearby. He burst down Tarvo. You may have lost Era, but you cannot afford to lose 4DR as well. Ball Lightning's up. The Rocket from Clockwork. Juice of will connect, the money starts rolling in from everywhere. A triple kill for Limp. Hanskin's in the neighborhood, Void's in the neighborhood, and Clockwork's there, and Chronosphere, more importantly, not being used. That's the count of the team fight. They hook shot forward, going towards Tarvo. Ice Blast will ensure the kill actually connects with the King RD on the way through. Where is this Chrono? Can they get it off in time? Units of Bum even catching him there, a quick time walk out. They didn't even need it. Now they oh. get it. And a big hero. You may have not wanted to actually pick up the Tinker in that one. Not the plan at all. And the stolen Chronosphere. It keeps Tinker in position. Shuriken tosses out. Finally, Limp will end up falling. A huge streak for 40 yard. Up for 100 seconds all over the map and try not to get caught. Tavo. Fuck! Unison Farm found him. He wanted to trigger off the train. Wait, just what happened to his item? He was dropping an item so he could regenerate. Clockwork will lose his life for it. It triggers red, they'll probably work out that someone's farming the side camp. Underneath the sentry world, Pablo moves forward, the Chronosphere, it catches out the Enigma, he'll be the primary target, Eric trying to put that double damage rune into good use, when the Ancient Apparition's already gone down, I suppose he does already do his job. Track stolen by C4T, but now tracked up himself and will fall. Three heroes down for SG. The Vortexes are out, so if you want to jump in SG, that's what they're going to do. Track now over on the Storm Spirit, still keeping tabs. Roshan, the time lock. Era's doing a lot of quick damage. He chronos to save it, catches just in the edge. The Rubik, so they won't catch him. Over to 40R, hit the by bash. the Ice Blast. No regeneration. The time lock doing so much lifting. The BKB is protecting the Viper for now, but he's also tracked. More money for Alliance if they can get more kills. Units of farm on the back lines. King RD charges forward over towards the clockwork. They will be able to find that one, but the bigger one, Viper has to stand his ground but era so much damage time walked off anything that was done to him while inflicting a heavy amount into the viper they'll see tavo tp out no disable charge though he doesn't really have enough mana and you know some farms in the neighborhood era breaking free now time walks away to attempt to oh, get strike two. he even got three he got the bk beat up enigma trying to beat him down the sun is there the lock is there there is no chronosphere to connect you know some farm is isolated the viper as well more supports arriving it's limp you've now got the march of the machines that will cut the right hand side of this battlefield in half not to mention the miss chances no more BKBs. Limp's going to keep the Hex going. They just have to keep him controlled. Ice Blast will not be able to connect, but the Fusion Blade is up from Era. The Hex is there. Viper will fall. Enigma with him. Rubik's a little bit too exposed in the mid lane with a rod of Atos. He's picked up and thrown around. Laser, Rockets, they all just keep spamming his way. And Era does find the kill, but the bigger one, maybe the back lines. Unison Farm, the chain hex. Out, but that chaining of hexes and the Ice Blast, it's going to connect Storm as well as SB it down. Very deep ward being placed out by Pablo to watch where the Enigma is standing. They saw Tavo go in. His era, he found both of them with the track up. The Ice Blast, it may not even matter. Enigma is gone. They can go for a second lane of Rax 4, stopping him into the cogs. The Viper is in too deep. They're all dead for SG. Only one of them has a bite 
Fly back in the six seconds away. Just be claiming themselves the victory. Only advantage for SG right now is the fact that they are able to uh, have the AGC Mortal timeout. Storm Spirit going in for another fight. They're looking for the kill. Lock him in the corner and shut him down. Storm will have to use his buyback right now because he'll lose his teammates if he doesn't do it. Tinker has to die if SG are going to hold this. Lip has the Hex back up. The laser attack, Spirit Breaker charging through a little bit of interruption. Thanks to Shuriken Toss. Lotus Orb trying to protect Lip. Won't work. Lip will go down. Buyback's available and the black hole is pretty decent. Holding in the Faceless Void. Where's your time? walk it's not gonna happen and the cheese era gets it off everyone knows the void is made of cheese maybe a little help from from unison farm quick four staff out the cogs trap them in in the chronosphere going to work once more storm is down for 103 seconds era is a beast of damage ice blast will connect over on two as well Era will take this as a lies and some murder time locking up bkb charge targets avoids viper strike continues to run back out and then back in again lotus orb is there for protection so is the Ancient Apparition. Maybe a little bit more troublesome. Has to Yule Scepter up to be safe. Pablo, he's got so much damage and now Limper is in. And it is done! Alliance will take...